If you are spawning static meshes using Unreal's PCG tool, and you're both scaling them and setting their Z offset to lower them into the ground randomly, or, or raise them up if they're big ones, you might be finding that your small ones uh, drop too far into the ground and get completely hidden, whereas your big ones are, are looking great, or vice versa, basically. The, the offset just doesn't work well with scaling. You can fix that and make it look more like this. The way to do that is to take the offset and multiply it by the scale of the object. And that just normalizes the offset so that uh, the object can't go below the, the points that you set up for a unscaled object. So let's uh, jump into the PCG graph and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this is just a pretty straightforward spawner. I uh, set up the points. I raise and lower them, rotate them, and scale them. I'm going to take the offset and move it into a new transform points node. That will give me something to work off of. So uh, first thing, I can now use a maths op node to subtract the original point from the new point, and that gives me the actual offset that we're working with. So I'm going to change this to subtract, and um, in both cases I'm working on position.z. So I'll put position.z in as both input source as output source. I'll put z offset as just something to work with. Next I do a multiply node, and I will multiply that with a mass op node. I'll multiply that z offset by the original scale. So I'll take z, z offset. Input source 2 is scale.z, change it to multiply, and I'll output scale dot, or, uh, z offset as well. Next, I add that all back in with a maths op node, and I need to add it back into the original uh, chain and not the new one, because the new one contains the z offset in its position already. So if I added z offset to the position, that would basically be adding it twice. So input source 2 is z offset, input source 1, position dot z output target now we're finally setting position dot z uh, connect that all up and go back to the map and there you go the scaling is all correct nothing's under the ground